Hello guys, welcome back to Paper Whisper. Today I'll be showing you my redo with two Dragon Scales, Dragon Scales, my Dragon Scales 2.0. And this time, hopefully it'll be a better quality video. <laughs> so, um, my first video wasn't great, honestly, but, you know, I tried. So here I am, remaking it two years later. Let's get right into it. So I'll be showing a new version of my Dragon Scales and how you can apply it to other models, like an assassin I made. So, let's see. So, we're going to start by making an 8 by, well, we'll start simple. So, we'll make a 16 by 16 grid. So, fold it in half. If you don't already know how to make a grid, feel free to check out my video on how to make one. <clears throat> but if you're not, if you don't know, if you don't feel like watching that, just walk along. I'll do it fast, though. I'll be using a six inch sheet of origami paper, which is paper I made up myself. And if you want to buy some, check out my Etsy shop. Cool, as stick and crafty. So now, we're going to turn this just pull your side off. It's going to be dual colored paper. And fold kind of like a rabbit ear. So fold, make a mountain fold along the first crease. And on the, one day consecutive, and then not consecutive, one that, um, adjacent side to do the same thing. I prefer doing on the left side, but you know whatever works. Then, extend the creases all the way. And combine them, kind of, in a way that creates a rabbit ear fold. Start of our pleat sink. Our pleat, our box pleat. Look something like this. Perfect. So now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, fold the bottom edge um, up. So you basically, have a new edge up from the bottom, and you're gonna fold it along the valley fold up, and create another mountain fold from where that meets. This time that we're going to go the same amount of the way towards um, the, the um, first mount fold on the other direction. The other direction. So it looks something like this. So I'll show you what I mean. It should be like this. If you can see the creases. So it's going along the lines of that. And then we squish it together and push this down. <clears throat> then. We're gonna, then we're gonna do another one, except it's a little different. We're gonna do the same, like, I guess pleat is the right word, I think. Hopefully. So this time, what we're, what we're gonna do is we're create, can create two branches, basically, from here. So, you're gonna create, so you see where this crease ends, right on before the valley, you're gonna make it and one mountain fold away from the end mountain fold that we just went to. And you're gonna fold, um, and where that, and you're gonna, you're gonna fold two mountain folds that go diagonally, 45 degree angles, and create a 90 degree angle. That go one, I guess, diagonal square, grid square, and that will create our next different, our next third pleat. And then we're basically gonna repeat that pattern, except there's a little bit there in thing we're gonna do. And when we're done with that, what we're gonna do is it's gonna look something like this. Just look a lot about that, so I'll show you what it looks like. And then we're gonna create our the same thing we did before, kind of like a rabbit here, the original thing we did before after we made our grid. And that will give us our first pair of. I us call them, um, I, call, I don't remember what I call them, I think they're like the star scales, though. Now, this is just an example of how you're going to do it, and you're going to form that all the way. I'm actually going to make it a bit longer, this scales, these scales. I'm going to make it about here. That should be good. The nice thing about this method is you can easily remeasure the, um, can easily re this even though I didn't invent this nice thing about this method 
is that um you can easily change the um change how where it starts so you don't worry about like oh no i have um two oh no i can't fit this or something it's gonna work just fine so we're gonna repeat that and i'm not gonna show it as well this time because i can do if you need to you can rewind the video I believe you can call it transition units or level shifters, something along those lines, but I could be wrong. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to repeat that. So basically, we do the same mountain fold that goes all the way to the edge of where we worked. And then do that little triangular thing. thing like so. And that should be your last one. So you're going to repeat it total two times. And that should give us our simple scales, I hope. Now, there are a few options we can do with this. The thing I'd recommend for beginners is to do it region 3.5 style, which is basically we ch change the scales to be diagonal. There are a few other things I have to do, but you make them just lines that are lines with um, a method by Boyce Wong or, or a med voice on YouTube. He does a lot of cool scales models, and this is one of the methods he uses. What I'm about to show. I think I'm going to start with um, Satoshi Kamiya's method from the Region 3.5, which is a genius thing to do. It's pretty cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it so that. Sorry. We're going to. Um, we're going to find the center two grid lines, so for me they're here and here. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the center. And we're going to find, kind of create, it's probably a tricky part, but you're going to create a kind of like a diagonal to that one of those lines from the outside. And repeat that. And that should create, and then when you're done, you kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but I'll try my best. You're gonna um kind of um change the angle kind of. I don't know how to tear show you what I mean. You're gonna change the angle of this crease, which will look something like this. And repeat on the other side. Make sure these are 45 degree angles. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of cheat, do a similar thing with the next part. One second, sorry, I did it wrong. It's a little confusing from this angle, so I'll try to show the best I can. So 
two ends up high. It's easier to do for me. So I'll try to figure out how to show this correctly. Okay, so let me redo this actually. So what we're gonna do, so we're, I forgot to step, step actually, sorry. Um, we're gonna kind of fold that little flap in half, one flaps, and then squat, and then you're gonna squash it in a special way, kind of. Now what you're going to do is kind of do a closed sink on the bottom one. Sorry, not the bottom one, the top one. Top of these two flaps. The one flap became two. Now we're going to do a closed sink, I think it's called. Yeah. our new thinner layers, which look pretty cool. And we're going to pee on all the others. So we fold them up, fold to the grease we just made. Unfold, squash. You're gonna close sink the um the top one. That will create our next third. I guess it's called yeah, these are thirds, perfect. If you're doing this right or I'm showing it right, you're then it should look something like this. Now we're gonna keep on going down. need some help figuring this out just rerun the video and keep watching now the last one Just like that, we have a lot more skills to make. Yay! Cool. So now here comes the hard part, which is going to be creating the skills from this, which unfortunately is not that easy, but we'll figure it out. So, we're going to start, oops, sorry, one second, let me refix that, if it makes sense. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a fold that goes from here. Here and find the, that same second middle square because it's a new only one now. So 
the single middle square and fold the um what's it called the scales so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold um a diagonal that goes 45 degrees all the way up to where what where we just created that that kind of like crimp thing and we're gonna create it on the other side of that one square normal grid square and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create once it hits that this line which is basically um which is basically here um once it hits the crease line we're gonna create a fold in the opposite direction and then we're gonna kind of like I guess the best way to describe it is kind of like push it together I guess I guess not yet so then, once we create that fold in the opposite direction, it should go all the way to the top of the um, next one, the next crease like that. And for now, we're gonna what we're gonna do next is a little interesting. Again, this is a little different than the original model. We're gonna create a fold that goes all the way now, all the way as far as it goes. look like this. Assuming I did it right, I need it to, hopefully. I want to fold it down like this. Creating the first scale scale layers, I guess they could be called. And then we're gonna fold this part up above the scales. Basically so above those layers, we're gonna fold it up. And we're going to do those same folds now. So we kind of like, kind of like in a loop. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create another one. That, that where it goes all the way as far up as it goes. And we fold, and then they combine to create two reverse folds, which create this new level shifter. I think it's called a level shifter. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Oops, wrong way. There are scales are in the form. Not very neatly though, so I'll fix that later. So now we're gonna go repeat that and do it again. We're going to repeat that until we're done, basically. Just look at it up close real quick on my own. Cool. Let's for the background noise. So now we're going to repeat that. Per I'm so sorry. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish off the last few parts. Okay, so now, we're gonna do that one more time. I think I can read it twice more, I can't remember. I can't tell.
mirror scales. Ta-da, I guess. It doesn't look very good, does it? I'm where? And just like that, there are skills and there are some normal pleats that we can easily add to a model. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.